right, now then, she's been the queen of breakfast TV for more than 30 years, but now Lorraine Kelly <laughs> is getting a new co-host. Well, she's <laughs> teamed up with her daughter, Rosie, to create their very own podcast, but this isn't the first time that they've shared the spotlight. In fact, they first appeared on screen 26 years ago, right here on ITV, when Rosie was just one week old. Making her television debut, Aww. there is little baby Rosie Kelly, Aww. who should have been born today, Lorraine. She should have been born. This was her, this was her day, Rosie Kelly Smith. There but she's she is. now just over a week old. Yep, yep, and she's doing fine. She's very, very good. She really is. Unbelievably good. She'd been born sort of like about quarter to 11, but I'd stayed up the whole night. I was, the, 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 everybody kept saying to me, go to sleep, go to sleep, but I couldn't. I just kept looking at her all the time and mm. I didn't so want I to miss one. anything, you know, I really didn't want to miss anything because she's so lovely. Oh my goodness, that's Aww. just the sweetest thing. Rosie is all grown up now and she's following in her famous mum's footsteps. Good morning. And actually, you look at that, and it must be weird for you, Lorraine, to sort of have this little baby here, and now having know, Rosie all grown up. Beautiful grown up. I know. Woman. And now working together. I know. Well, it was yeah. your idea, wasn't it? Yeah, we sort of talked about it, um, doing a podcast together last April. Yeah, yeah. Um, just when all the COVID stuff happened. Yeah. Um, and then it's just sort of taken a while yeah. to... It's, it's a really good do, idea, because yeah. what it's got is uh, uh, that emotive title, mm -hmm. What If?, yeah. Um, and and there's no way you can ask that question to anybody without it creating a really fascinating and interesting answer. You've got great guests we'll come to in a moment. But mm. um, but for what if? Why that? Why, why choose that? I think it was exactly for that. Yeah. You know, we thought about, um, you know, obviously talking to people and it's been a joy to talk to people for a, a whole hour. Yeah. Because <laughs> normally, like here or next yeah, door, yeah, yeah, you've yeah. got sort of six or seven minutes. I know, it's yeah. lovely, but it's just great, you know, to have a, a longer time. And it was to, you know, obviously it's a chat, but it was to get different aspects, especially when people, and we really just wanted people that we really like. Mm. Like Gawk. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> what I was going to say. It was fantastic. So... It was so good and so interesting. And you, you get a different... You just get a different spin on people mm. and a different insight into them, you know? So, Rosie, I mean, you were sort of writing the list of who would be your hit list yeah. of who you would like. So, obviously, Gok was your first Number home one. with Selfish yeah. <laughs> as well. And so, how do you go about choosing people? Um, it was more people that we that you that had we spoken liked. to yeah. and that we and both like, and also that we wanted to speak to. Yeah. Um, I think I've just wanted an excuse to talk to Craig David. But... <laughs> well, <laughs> this is Why it. Not? Yeah. And you wanted an excuse to talk to Tim Pete. Exactly, I did. exactly. I did. You know my space geek. Yeah. And it was so interesting because, you know, that's the other thing about Rosie doing it because you asked different questions. Mm. Like, Rosie asked Tim Pete, but what if you'd gone up there and you hadn't liked it? because you don't know. Mm -hmm. And, you know, but then he told this brilliant story about a cosmonaut who'd actually gone up there and hated it. Oh, wow. <laughs> and made everybody's life miserable. And he was like, I just want to go home. I just want to go home. So it was really, mm. it's things like that. You go in so many different directions. It's, yeah. it's just been lovely. It's relatable as well. A lot of people, like people that are on it, but people that are listening to it as well. Yeah. They yeah. Makes them think yeah. about what they would do. In the Absolutely. Because we've all got those crossroads in our life and we can go one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not a grilling. Oh, no, uh, it's not. It's really not. I mean, it's... Um, but it's really interesting to see people really opening up. You know, there's that trust there. People are really... You know, that's the thing that people do with us all the time. Yeah. They trust us with their stories, and that's huge. And it's... You know, it, it brings them... They, they really have a chance to talk. But like also, good. I think there's something even more in a podcast that makes people open up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that there is something about just sitting there and it being your voice, somebody not necessarily being able to see you, that mm -hmm. there's something that just makes people... It's like having a chat on the phone. Yeah. yeah. You tend to reveal more, I that's think. Well, we've true. done... Pretty much all of them on Zoom. Yeah, we so did. So they're in their house. They're in the house. Quite comfy. And but... feeling comfy, that's yeah. right. Kat Dealey was lovely, wasn't yeah, she? Really Kat lovely. was great. Told us stories I'd never heard before. That's what's been so good about it. You know, I'm getting to know people so much more. Mm. And it's and it's fascinating. And you kept sort of coming out, I never knew that. Mm. That's yeah. extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's doing really well, so well, that it's there's doing... now talk of a second season. Yeah, least, they're talk... they are well. very much so. I mean, it's one of those things we just didn't know, did we? And it's been <laughs> great. People, although my mum's hilarious, my mum said, subscribe, she said. Is that... You've got to subscribe to these things. <laughs> How much does that cost? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, mum, she's got this different thing because subscribe makes her think that she's got to know it's free, it's fine, yeah. it's all right. It's just, yeah, it's great. And there's a lot of podcasts out there and they are brilliant. And I think 
especially in lockdown. Mm. You know, I love listening to podcasts mm. because you can put them on and you're on the go. You know, exactly. You were listening while you were in the, the, in the dentist. I was, yeah. yeah but <laughs> that's yeah, a <laughs> really good idea. Take your mind off the horrible. Absolutely. Of the dent Not that dentists Absolutely. are horrible, I don't mean that. But you it's know, the first <laughs> time I was in the dentist and I started laughing while I was in the chair. Yes, listening to Lee Mack's podcast. Oh, it's good. It's good. But um, so the thing about this sort of what if, it's a sort of a sliding doors moment in your life, and it does. It's a brilliant starting point to open a whole conversation. And I guess, have you thought about your own moments in life? Oh, when gosh, you had I've had so many, haven't I? So, so many. I mean, we saw Rosie there as a tiny baby. I mean, I was told at the time by GM. TV uh, not to come back. <gasps> Look at me. You, oh, you're that's so when I was on my fat stage. Oh, but no, no, but that's the beautiful stage. And it's <laughs> all right. And you, you, oh, you're so cute. <laughs> you're so, so cute. That is adorable. Is that Dr. Hillary? Yeah, that's Dr. Hillary. He's a child. Oh my God, yeah, he has been around, the same oh. as me, for a long, long time. Um, <laughs> yeah, oh, oh, you're not happy. Oh, you're not happy. <laughs> You're, you're really not happy there. But yeah, they told me not to not to come back. And that I was a real sort of sliding door moment because what happened was I ended up getting my my own show because of that. Because there was a, a mother and baby company that wanted us to do specials on GMTV, which I did. Mm -hmm. And then in fact that was what that was one of them. Oh. And then they went, oh, and they did really well. And then they said, Oh, well, you can have your own show. So and I've did you think about not coming back? Was there part of you that was like Oh, well, I'm not going to come back. Oh, no, no. I, I had to, I missed it so much. I, only, I mean, I was only off air for like about a month and, yeah. you know, I was. I really wanted to go back because it's like you two. I just love what I do, you know. It's yeah. just but you were told, activity. though, well, oh, you're never going to make it on TV. I was told, mm. Philip, I was told that. I was told that. That was the, the head of the BBC, um, BBC Scotland at the time. Um, I thought he was, come, you know, bringing me into his office to tell me I had a job as a reporter. Mm. And he just said, you'll never make it in television. Um, because of your accent, you'll have to go for elocution lessons. But that was ages ago. Mm -hmm. That was 1984. We've just, heard, we've just heard something here that the same man told Martin Frizzell, our editor, that he'd never make it either. Well. So, what, <laughs> like, like, what like rubbish Martin advice. He well. knew nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but it was the best thing in the world because it made me have the... I, I suppose that it sort of spurred me on mm -hmm. to that day mm. apply for a job at uh, TVAM, a, Sc a Scottish correspondent. I wouldn't have had the nerve to do that. So that was a real... Big one. Could have gone one way, yeah, could have yeah, gone yeah. the other. And, Rosie, for you, you've got no better teacher than the lady sitting beside you, yeah. who just happens to be your mum. But it must be... I mean, you know, you sort of look and you learn. It was like when I started on here, sitting next to Phil, I was like a sponge. You just mm. absorb it all and you've got this opportunity, which yeah. is just wonderful. It's not really felt like work, though. No, it's, it's just like us, nice. us chatting. Yeah. And, and Rosie has got... Cos she went to university to do journalism, has got this amazing way of turning a conversation or just asking a question that mm. you go, wow. And it brings, you know, like I was saying, it, it brings that d different answer and you find out so much more about people. It's, it's been great. It's been a joy. It's been an absolute yeah. joy. What's I've loved it. Um, ooh, uh, I moved to Singapore when I was 22. Yeah, after um, uni, you went to Singapore. And it was supposed to just be for six months. Um, to find myself, which I didn't <laughs> do. And, um, <laughs> well, you uh, were working. Yeah, I was working. I was, yeah. Um, but then I ended up there for three and a half years, so I, I think and I was... And you've not long come back. Yeah, I came back last April. I was yeah. in quarantine in my little flat for two oh, weeks. yeah, that's um, right. And so it's so strict there, so, How yeah. does it feel for you? Because, you know, TV aside, your daughter is in Singapore and then comes back. How's that mm. feel? Yay. We sat and watched... Well, we had six months of... Watching Game Being of Thrones. Together, so that yeah. kind of made up. For Did you? All the time. <laughs> we binged on Game of Thrones and then we binged on Below Deck. Below Deck. Remember? We were obsessed, yeah. obsessed yeah. we were. It was fantastic. And then we just talked, 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 talked yeah. all the time. It was great. It was just brilliant. Because, yeah, when you were away, we used to talk a lot. Yeah. But it's not the same. Not the same no. as no. being the person. But you've got to let your children go, but it's quite hard. Yes. Yeah, it's quite hard. But now she's back, which is amazing. Back <laughs> and working together. I know. And it's a good working relationship. I worked for one summer in Newquay, um, I worked with my dad. Um, and uh, it was a nightmare because he wouldn't ever let me sit down. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, like, he on. kept finding me things to do. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, I've been on my feet all day now. And I'd sit down and go, sorry, no, could you, could you just... I thought, oh, no, I'm not having this. <laughs> so that's why you've got a career where you sit on a sofa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make up for it. Um, thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so good to see, see you. you. It really, really is. I see you, but I don't see you properly. I know. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's only through the screen. Thank you, Rosie. It's lovely to see you as well. And What If is available now.